Hello guys. In the previous lesson, uh, we discussed about uh, how to be obtain or how to be apply the open loop control uh, in order to create a system dynamics modeling in hydraulic approach and mechanical one. Okay, and so the open loop control has a disadvantage of the um, absence of the measurement parameter because we cannot sure about the x is in the right position or not. Okay. And so, in order to solve this problem, the scientific purpose or the researchher uh, proposed the closed loop control method because the system could not be ideal in real life. And so, the main advantage or main utilized element of this closed loop control is the measurement. Okay? Measurement. In the real life, we can use the sensor technology in order to measure the position flow rate or heat or temperature value of the systems okay and so the measurements need to be taken minimal setting in all system in order to create a closed loop control structure therefore we can write it down as uh, the block diagram modeling okay and so we have the XREF positioning techniques in here because we need to give the system the reference position in order to track this signal and so if we have the measurement value related to the X position and then we can obtain the whole the system dynamics okay because we can add the this measurement techniques in here as the HS is the modeling of the sensor technology and so this is our measurement in here and so we can obtain or we can fit the position of this system in order to create an error signal because the error directly used in control theory in order to create a proper control signal by using the CS okay and so the CS the control loop creates a force or Q or in others in another system the voltage value to the system okay and so we have the plant variable like the hydraulic one or the mechanical position of the any mass factor like the F equal to M times X dot dot okay and so this system gives us the position okay and so if we take the position value from the using the measurement techniques by using the sensor and so we can create a closed loop section in general this loop can be considered or can be named by the closed loop control because the activation cannot be ended until the error is a zero okay if the x ref and the x is uh, different from the each other and then the error cannot be equal to zero okay and so the force is applied on this system until the error is zero okay and then in real life we can create the x ref signal by using the computer okay computer because we have a reference signal and then the in computer we have a software in order to create this a uh, diagram okay and so the measurements in mechanical systems uh, we have the for an example infrared sensor can be obtained this using these things and so the cs the driver or the electrical circuits in real life application and then plus we have a actuator mechanism actuator uh, is really modeled uh, by the um, scientific purpose or the engineer because the the data sheet gives a detailed information about the actuator using especially we had the diagram to represent the force with the with respect to the voltage value and so if we have the specific voltage and then we know the specific force value in order to apply to this plant system okay and then if we have this kind of system in the proper formats and so if we have just kind of the time varying system parameter x and then if we have the 
x ref value and then the closed loop system is a run on this kind of system and then the x is oscillates like this one and then the proper direction or the reference tracking can be done by using these things because we have the sensor value or the measurement value in order to create an error is going to zero okay and so in the last place in the steady state condition the error is zero and then the measurements can be taken by using this system and so we have the proper controller method we cannot apply these things in the open loop control because we don't have the, any measurement value from the sensor okay especially in the mechanic diagram we can create this closed loop control method like this one closed loop control and so we can in real life uh, these uh, closed loop parameters can be <coughs> applied these things we have the mass parameter in here and so if we have the any actuator model in here with the piston variable and so this is the actuator of our system and so m is our system modeling and so this can be called the gs value but this actuator can be run by using the driver module okay driver this is the electronics or electrical part of this R study and so this model can be called by the CS but if a driver is driven from this diagram and so we have the general computer in order to create the reference positioning okay and software includes the C or C++ programming or C sharp programming in order to create an XREF diagram and so in order to get the feedback from this system and so we have the infrared sensor in here infrared sensor in here okay and so we have the another electronic circuits in here electronic circuits in order to transfer the whole information from the this infrared sensor into the computer one and so in electrical perspective we have in the electronic sensors the analog reading must be done in here and so the computer is a discrete form of the electronics and then possessing the discrete uh, var variant in kind of the system and so the electronic circuits must be convert this analog variable into the digital one okay and so the computer can read it and then the computer can the read or provide the digital signal as a x reference okay and so this section is completely related to the x ref generation in our study okay and so the driver and the actuator mechanism is included in the cs system in our block diagram okay and so the infrared sensor technology especially in this diagram can be considered by the HS system okay and so the finally this M formation is considered as GS in real life application and so if we create a closed loop control system or if we apply if we want to apply the closed loop control system and then we should design this system and then we should obtain the this uh, diagram of these things by using the this block diagram method this block diagram is equivalent in the real life application of these things okay and so if we have this kind of system and then we can control it and we can design it in the proper form of these things and so if we use the theory of the control theory by using this uh, notation and then we can build uh, something uh, like uh, this uh, system okay and so we can choose the proper infrared sensor and we can read the data sheet value in order to create an analog signal into the digital one okay and so computer take uh, this digital signal and then the related uh, x reference position can be given to the driver and so we can 
control or we can design this driver by using the CS value in theory okay because this driver is provided by the proper of the CS mm, like the S S plus 1 must be satisfied or must be designed by using this driver equation okay and so we have the data sheet of the actuator value and we have a diagram as the mm, force versus voltage value and so if we driver supplies or provides the voltage proper voltage to the actuator and then we can move the M variable in the direction of X or inverse direction of X okay right and left and so we can feedback or we can take a feedback from the infrared sensor and then the this loop is continuous until the error is zero in real life application okay and so we can summarize it down then we should uh, design the control loop application uh, by using the some methods uh, in the next or in the next session of this uh, lesson course <coughs> we will create a PID controller design or LQR controller design or full state feedback controller design in order to condition the system actuator okay in order to get the correct position of the X reference value which in the control theory is it can be called by the reference tracking control okay and so in the next session we will summarize the whole the things related to the system dynamics approach and control theory and then we can build the main frame or main idea to design or build the mechatronic system design based on the system dynamic approach okay